Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Deborah Cameron and today we're going to be talking about the fabulous Qigong warm-up exercises. Now I'm going to actually do a couple of sequences for you. I want this first one to be pretty quick and simple. This is something that you can bring into your everyday life pretty much right away. And why do we do warm-up exercises? Well, in a prior video, I spoke about the magnificent microcosmic orbit. And there are two pumps within the microcosmic orbit, the circuitry of energy that moves up your spine and around the front channels of your body. And so the first pump is the sacral pump, right at the sacrum. And the second is the cranial pump, right at the nape of your neck. So these exercises in particular target these pumps to get the energy moving up your spine to, so that you will feel vibrant energy very shortly after you start this segment. Okay, so at the beginning of every class we do warm-ups. It might take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, but again, this is a very simplified format for you. So now, this is the first exercise and it's called the shakedown. Feet shoulder width apart, let your knees do the shaking, let your knees do all the work and let your upper body follow. Now, for most of you with this shakedown exercise, you're gonna feel a lot of tension in your shoulders. This is very typical, especially for beginners. So I want your shoulders to be nice and limp, okay? Now, open your fingers, have your feet very solid, solid underneath you. And again, let your knees do the work, upper body follows. Now, as you are expressing out, I want you to hear the sound from your lungs. <sighs> let those shoulders go, open up those fingers, and you can shake in whatever way your move to. Just be sure to shake your booty. <laughs> shake your booty. Very good. Now, you're going to start to feel energy starting to move through your system. Your body's going to get very warm very, very quickly with this. I would suggest maybe three to five minutes when you're starting out and you can increase it as you go along with your regime. All right, then we're going to move into tapping. My students love this. And we often chat through tapping. But what you're gonna do is really focus on your joints, up to the shoulder, palm down. Really, really focus on those joints because this is where the chi can get very trapped and very, very stagnant. Turn the other palm up, same thing. Wrist, up to the elbow, shoulder, palm down. Excellent. Now we're gonna move down the legs, tapping the knees, really tapping those knees down to the ankles, behind the ankles, up the back of the legs to the knees. Again, a lot of emphasis on your knees, folks. Up to the hips, down the outside of the legs, and up the inside of the legs. Very, very, very good. Now we're gonna tap the kidneys. So round your back slightly as you tap the kidneys. From a prior, with a prior video, I mentioned that the uh, kidneys are actually your chi battery. They're your chi batteries of your body. A little higher for those adrenal glands. Very, very good. Now we're gonna tap the lungs. Awesome, really, really tap vigorously these lungs. All right, now take a deep breath in and cough to the earth. <coughs> <coughs> this, this again gets the chi moving in the lungs and, and removes the stagnation of any energy that may be there. The lungs store sadness and grief, but also will store joy and laughter. So that moves us now to the thymus. This is a favorite part of class for most of my students. And this is where I say tap your thymus, which is your immune center, and laugh hysterically. <laughs> ah! Now 
now you have to laugh with me. <laughs> It seems really crazy, but once you get the hang of it, let me tell you, you will love it. All right, so pathing the thymus. Now, moving to the chin, up to the jaw, and you often want to yawn because this is a release point for, for stress in the body, the, the, the uh, jaw, up to the crown, tapping behind the cranium, and to the jade pillow right at the nape of your neck. Really tap that neck. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay? Very good. Now we're going to move into what we call abdo abdominal kidney tapping. And as you can see as I turn here, we're just tapping the kidneys and wrapping the other arm around the abdomen. It's actually extremely relaxing. Nice deep breath in. Now tap one lung and one kidney. One shoulder and one kidney. Excellent, excellent. Now, another little shakedown. Good, all right. Now we're gonna move into what I call the wall posture. And this is very good, very good for awakening and opening the sacrum and also the cranial pump. Actually, the next two exercises are very good for both. So, wall posture. We're gonna connect with the universe. Smiling in. In Qigong, we speak about the inner smile, the power of the inner smile. And just feel your palms burning with chi as you connect with the universe. As Master Mantak Chia said so wisely, where the intention goes, the chi follows. Breath in. And on the out breath, turn your palms toward your body, combing the chi on the out breath. Palms to the knees, round the shoulders, tummy to the knees and look straight ahead. Pause the breath and slowly move up. very relaxing. Make sure your shoulders are rounded and the small of your back is rounded also. Really warming up the kidneys, massaging the kidneys. You can do this six or seven or eight times. Breath in. Now step out with the left foot and we're going to bring our wrists and our elbows together. And we're going to breathe in and move our palms back and pelvic tilt back. See the shelf I'm making right at my sacrum. Just pelvic tilt back and now on the out breath forward. You don't want to hyperextend your pelvis. You just want to be aligned your perineum to the earth. Breath in, pelvic tilt back. Breath out, tongue, chin in slightly, chin tucked in slightly, and breath in. And always smile. and we often take a moment to ground. 
between our exercises. Awesome. All right. Short segment, yes, but I do not want to overwhelm you. If you can learn these short exercises along with me by following this video, you are going to feel so much more energy in the course of your day. And so you jump out of bed, the shakedown, move into the tapping, have fun with the rag doll and the wall posture and spinal cord breathing. Very good. All right. So I will be producing more videos as we go along. I'll do another segment of warm ups to bring even more fun into it. Probably where we're really focusing on the breath in the next video with our fun warm ups. Okay. So Qigong is an amazing practice, folks. So many people speak about fatigue, about a lack of energy and vitality. This is because your body is losing energy. We'll be learning in these videos about how our emotions actually are um, very much prominent in the losing of energy if they are too excessive. So we're going to be learning about the balance between the masculine and the feminine, the balance of our emotions, and everyday vitality and energy being brought to you with this amazing 5,000 year old art, the art of Qigong. So thanks for joining me. I'm so excited to be working with you. And please visit my website, www.beyondemotionalblueprint.com where you can read more about Qigong and my clinical work, Emotional Blueprint, as well. I look forward to creating uh, videos on Emotional Blueprint as we go along as well. So thanks again for visiting my channel. And if you feel so inclined, please like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much. Happy Qi.